Let's try to fix this issue. Let's say you are trying to connect to a remote computer as an IT professional or a user working from home and try to connect to a remote computer and you receive an error message. And I will tell you, most IT professionals faces this problem. So if I go to my start menu and I enter remote, and here we have the remote desktop connection. So if you tap, you definitely need to know the device name, and I tap W01. So I'm trying to connect to this um, device. It's a Windows 11 device. And if I try to connect, so let's try to connect and see what happens. So it's trying to initiate a remote connection. So when it's trying to remote uh, remote connection, let's see if it is going to connect. Here we go, you can see it says the remote desktop can't connect to the remote computer for one of these reasons. So there are different reasons why this device can't connect to the remote computer. Probably the, remote, the device is not in the domain or the device is turned off. But right now you can see that the device is in the, do is in the domain. It's not turned off. The device is on. So let's go to the device. So you want to actually troubleshoot this issue from that device. So if I go to my start menu, and here we'll go to settings. If I go to settings and I go to system, in system, I just scroll down, and here we have the remote desktop connection. So if I go to the rem to remote desktop connection, you can see that the remote desktop connection is turned off. So what we want to do is to actually turn this on. So by turning this on, it's going to allow us to be able to connect to this device but mind you i only have this just this one device if you are working for a company as an it system administrator definitely you want to connect to the device using um, uh, um configure this this remote desktop connection turn this on using group policy you want you don't want to do this manually on for example thousands of device this is going to be done using group policy or microsoft intune so let's try to connect again and now you can see we are able to connect. So we just need to enter our password on that device. Because connecting, connecting remotely to that device means that it's going to remotely connect to that device. And you will, any user log on to this device will be disconnected from this device. So let's just try and see. Here you can see it says I, another user is signed in. I'm going to say yes. I want to connect. And here it's going to ask, actually ask that user if that user want to connect i'm going to say okay allow the user to connect and automatically i'm going to lose my session so this is how you connect to a remote computer if that device is not connecting so you need to actually check that remote device if the remote connection is turned on and please my name is kelvin johnson don't forget to like my video and subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel to help me grow my channel and if you have any issues concerning windows servers windows client operating system or you are well, trying to become an it service desk engineer just give me uh, send me an email or contact me and i will respond to you as quick as possible and i'll be happy to be your mentor to become an it system administrator bye